Hey guys, it's Damien. And I'm Kennedy. And thank you for joining us. Now, do y'all peek the new setup? Shout out for them Amazon gift cards. Christmas. <laughs> yes, this is Christmas right here. This is Christmas. <laughs> Comment down below if you like our new setup. So today, as y'all saw in the title, we're talking about ghosting. Ghosting. And I don't think we ever talked about this. No, I don't think we, we actually had this conversation. No. Not that we're hiding it. Yeah. So this is going to be real and raw. And so for those who might not know what ghosting is, but I'm sure you do once I, <laughs> once I um, give the definition, it is when you're talking to someone or dating someone and then you or the other person completely go ghost like no without communication like you ain't been spot is that person alive bro? like <laughs> you just go ghost ghost and so that's what we're gonna talk about yeah. so the first question that little dialogue is have you ever ghosted someone oh you ain't carpet the frog <laughs> he's like you know. <laughs> have i ever ghosted have you ever ghosted somebody uh yes yes i have I have ghosted somebody. Um, it was a toxic situationship. I don't even think we was in a relationship. I mean, that's the thing. I don't think we was in a relationship at all. Um, it was very, I'm gonna take responsibility for myself. I'm not here to trash nobody, mm -hmm. but very toxic verbally. I was a hypocrite. I was living a hypocritical life. I just wrote my book in 2015 and I was chasing. Hashtag completely single. Yes, <laughs> completely single. <laughs> but I was chasing a wife. Mm -hmm. Right. And so God gave me the manual on how to live a pure life and prepare myself for you. <laughs> <laughs> but I wasn't preparing myself for you. I was, so you was looking for a wife, was, but you wasn't a husband. No, I mm -hmm. wasn't. A, ooh, where, where you get that from? What you sipping on? Uh, yo, juice. <laughs> My juice. We just water, y'all. We don't drink coffee. We yeah. Just, it was a setup. It was a <laughs> So, what about you? Did you ever ghost somebody? Hold well, on. Well, I almost ghosted you. I ain't gonna lie. You gotta read the book. Hashtag no, you did. I almost did, but God wouldn't let me. Wow. Because you remember when you slid my DMs? And I was like, I contemplated. So, you Changing wanted to churches, ghost me? Like. Ghost, I wanted to, but I didn't. God's like, bro, this young son. <laughs> <laughs> so, four hours later, four or five hours later, I popped back up. But yeah, I have ghosted people. and People? That's multiple. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't tell me that. We haven't had this conversation before. Okay. But yeah, I've ghosted some people and yeah, I repent. Why did you ghost? Was it you or them? Well, one Why you breathe so hard? <laughs> it's like, it's hot, y'all. <laughs> one was just weird. Okay. I was like, bruh. You it was weird. at that moment where, you know, I like to eat fun. So we're not getting on to that. It was just like weird situation. Okay. And I was like, I don't need to be with this person. And then maybe some other times just, yeah. Lost interest and like eh, whatever. And it's like boom, go go. So yeah. So proud, for me, but. it was more of I felt bad and I felt like I was in sin, mm. like for real. And I was like, I don't like living like this. Mm -hmm. I was waking up in the middle of the day or middle of the night and checking my phone, like oh my gosh, did they text me? I was like, mm -hmm. bro, I'm not living like this. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Okay, so. number two. Um, have you ever been ghosted? Yes. <laughs> 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 Time. Both of the time by the same person, bro. Right? <laughs> oh, man, yeah. That's the best stuff. Who is this person? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you crying? Yeah, I've been it, yeah. Um, I mean, for me, I don't know if it was ghosted, it was just lost contact because I didn't ghosted, really. Ghosted, right? <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to keep, pick up my pride, right? Yeah, no, ghosted, right? Ghosted. Ghosted, right? But it was like I, I met a girl right before you, and it was like one or two texts, and then I was like, I, I reached out and nothing. So that's ghosted. It's still ghosting. Dang. You stop, like, I mean, it's levels to this ghosting oh. thing. But if like someone just stopped responding to, you, I feel like that's a ghost. But it's not as painful as like I'm dating this person. I've been going out on dates, and now all of a sudden it's like new number. Who this? Like, <laughs> you <can> block. <laughs> So how did that make you feel when you were ghosted or, oh, you know, lost contact? Lost contact. <laughs> it make you feel bad a little bit. Like, you ain't nothing, bro. Like, you can't even, like, hello? <laughs> and then if you see the person, yeah. see, we was not in the same industry, the last yeah. person. We was not in the same industry, so it didn't really matter. But, yeah. but when you see that person and then they got a new person, you be like, oh, that's why you ghosted. <laughs> it's a good pride, You didn't ghost, you go. You 
ghosted, yeah. So. Yeah, so it makes you feel bad. Yeah. But what about on the other side? Like, I mean, you're the person who's ghosted. Like, how does how do you feel? Do you feel bad? Yeah, I feel bad too, especially like in the guy situation because it's like money they put in. <laughs> Day. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I'm not who I used to be. Like, I'm not even trying to boast on it. But yeah, I feel bad. It's like, especially as a Christian, it's like, we don't need to treat, no matter how weird they might be, or they deserve something, some yeah. kind of reason why, like, you're not wanting to continue anything. So, yeah, prepare for that. Now, for me, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Babe, <laughs> Yo, I'm not we, gotta, gonna, we gotta go to the altar. No, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. I loved it for one reason because I got my life back and I started to value myself. Mm -hmm. That's the only mm -hmm. real love. I was like, man, I, I'm a human. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got my mind back, I got my soul back. And thankfully, I didn't cross boundaries mm -hmm. as far as having sex with the person yeah. or not. And so. I just think it's important to have that closure, especially when it's like, okay, just yeah. let me know. Now, why. yeah, looking back at yeah, it. Yeah, it's like closure and then, you know, your feelings might be hurt either way, but one is like, okay, at least you value me enough to tell me why you don't want to continue talking, as yeah. opposed to like... <laughs> <laughs> Just walk away. Like, Just do it. So, yeah, I feel like, you know, closure is a big key for that, so. As you know, like, ghosting is not godly, like, the only ghosting that's good is like... Holy the Holy Ghost. Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> but just the reasons why ghosting, you know, isn't really something that we should do, especially as Christians, is because it shows lack of maturity yeah. in our part. Like, we're not kids where we're just like, oh, yeah, I don't want to be your friend anymore, bye. Yeah. Um, but just really, you know, showing that you're a grown up and you can have, you know, you're mature. You're mature. Yeah. So. so number two is um, lack of character. When you ghost people, you show that you have a lack of character. Mm -hmm. We want to be loyal. We we don't want to be shady. We want integrity in our relationships. Yeah, also, it shows that you have a lack of communication skills. <laughs> <laughs> like you can't even, and like I said, I was, I was doing ghosting and, I, and I'm, was a person, and I'm still working on that, that I didn't like conflict. So what's the best thing to do? Avoid conflict and yeah. disappear. And so we want to be people that can communicate and just, again, someone's worth understanding why you don't you know want to continue on and this is done in dating or courtship mm -hmm. or whatever mm -hmm. word you use so you want to build that rapport with a person so what is rapport rapport is building a connection and that's done by being in the presence of the person and via phone or whatnot if it's over the internet but you want to continue to build that and see if that connection is there before you like i don't even want to be with you mm -hmm. And the last one is, it shows a lack of respect and value for the person. Mm -hmm. Now we are called to value people. Mm -hmm. We are called to serve people and we are called to respect people, mm -hmm. right? This is a human being, mm -hmm. not somebody who's just trash. That you can dispose of, because yeah. you don't feel like entertaining. And so we have to show the love of God, mm -hmm. uh, despite how we're feeling, despite what they did to us. We have to be Christ-like in every situation. And we have to understand that this person has feelings, they have a family, mm -hmm. and everything like that, as you do. And so we have to respect and value everybody who comes into our lives. Yeah. And so next Time, we want to talk about the right way to end a relationship um, as Christians and followers of Jesus Christ. Make sure you stay tuned to the next video that we will be having. Thank you again so much for joining us. Again, please like, share, and subscribe. And follow us on Instagram at Damien and Kennedy. That's Damien Kennedy spelled out. <laughs> we also have a website, Damien and Kennedy, with our course that we have and um, hashtag completely married our book that we wrote together and other things you can get a free book there if you put in your um email address and damien will send you one of his previous books yeah e -book. <laughs> <laughs> again my name is damien nash and i'm kennedy nash and we'll see you next time stop ghosting people <laughs> <laughs> bye <laughs>